The following is a story about how this non-threatening little gal is banned in Michigan. First, let me give you some background about why I'm terrified. I have a live show that doubles as a drinking game. The audience plays along while I perform. This party that I take on tour is what I call freaking sweet and innovative performance art. Well, other people call it morally depraved. The story starts when I created a voting system on my site to take my innovative party show to the college that wanted it the most. A school we shall call Tech won by hundreds of votes more than everyone else. Sweet. I love people that love me. So I was all set to go play a show at Tech. Using a collaborative Google document where all the students and I were editing together, they gave me help on where I should perform and even gave me places to stay. Tech students rock! This is a common theme throughout the story. So I found a great venue that chose a day and time for the event, I booked my flight, and my opener, Professor Shy Guy, started his 14-hour drive towards Tech. I was to fly out the next day to meet Shy Guy in Chicago so we could drive the last seven hours together. Not pleasant, but I will endure butt discomfort to go party with these awesome students. Then, ten hours before my flight, I find out that the venue changed their mind. They said, Received notification that Tech is quite upset with the idea of us hosting your concert. We were told that Tech would likely cut ties with us if we were to host your concert, and I'm afraid we can't risk our long-term relationship with the university. Crap! Shy Guy is already on the road, and tons of Tech students are expecting us to bring the fun. Well, the fun is back in Pittsburgh, crapping her pants. I started scrambling to find another venue, and in the middle of that, the sorority that said I could sleep at their house also changed their mind. Crap again! So more scrambling! Everyone's helping on the collaborative Google document, and with just enough time for me to pack, I found a new venue and a new place to stay. Okay, relief. Cease pants crap. So the show is now BYOB at a pretty sweet concert space. I emailed the tons of tech students that we moved the party, and I got on the plane. Super psyched! I arrived in Chicago and met up with Shy Guy. As soon as we hit the road towards tech, I got word that someone alerted the police about my show and they were gonna shut it down! Because I can only play at a place that has an entertainment and a liquor license. Crap for the third time. Now I was scrambling for a venue again, but this time on the highway on the way to tech. With more help from the students, because tech students rock, I was actually able to book a third location with the right licenses. Okay, relief. Again terminate pants crapping and commence being psyched that this is still going to happen. Three hours later I get a call from the third venue owner saying that somebody told the state police and they showed up at his place to shut down this show too. Here's what they said. You're not allowed to put the $5 cover price on your Facebook event, you're not allowed to use the word game in the description, and you can't sell your merchandise at the bar. Apparently all three of these not very scary things are illegal in Michigan. Crap number four. With no other options and having blown a bunch of money on travel, Shy Guy and I went to a truck stop to email everyone to say that I'd fail them and there will be no awesome party show. We're going to cut our losses and just head back home then, but there was an uproar and everyone got back on the collaborative Google document. Even though the show was impossible, they still just wanted to party with us. Because remember, tech students rock. They suggested they could cover our travel fees if everybody pitched in, and that's exactly what they did. They raised $610 while I sat in that truck stop. Opposite of crap! So we got back on the road for the last four hours to go party with these incredibly cool people. That rock. While we were on the road, the students organized a meet and greet type party with us where we could all be on the second floor of this bar and hang out and high fives and awesomeness and take pictures. How much more rocking can you be? Except the police shut that down too. They told the bar, You're not allowed to host any event with Ali Spagnola and Professor Shy Guy. Are you kidding me? I'm not allowed to be social in Michigan? This is insane! So there's crap number five of my story. It seems that there was a person or persons stopping me at every turn, including alerting the state police about my apparently illegal Facebook description, and emailing tech students saying they shouldn't let me sleep in their town. All of the elements of this whole situation put together feels like a concerted effort from one party to keep Allie out. Well said, guy that rocks! I really wish they would have come to me from the beginning instead of sneaking around behind the scenes, making me fight a crazy battle full of stress that I could never win. I wasn't even drunk for most of the fight. Seriously, this is my business, and what they did cost me a ton of time and hard work and money. Totally unfair. But at least now I have a reason to make a badass video about some rock star drama. My music is dangerous! Now the school officially said, This is not a university function, nor is it sponsored by any university organization, so we have no say in it. So perhaps it wasn't the school, perhaps I was just extremely unlucky over and over again. And perhaps the first venue was lying when they said Tech was quite upset about my show. In the end, I did end up staying in Michigan, and I did hang out with those rocking Tech students, though we kept it under wraps. High fives had to be low fives, you had to know a password to talk to me. I'm like a walking speakeasy. So there you go, little me is illegal and banned from partying. Parents, hide your college students because who knows what I'll do next, but it will probably involve beer. One, two, three, let's go! Yeah, this is My outlet thinks I'm more dangerous than him.